Okay, my last one for the day before I hand you over to Martin is the personal touches handicap over one mole three furlongs and naught to ninety. Santa Moore and Martin Stewart Doug for Del Hinton Gate Sweet for Django Western Railroad for Carl Araganti Hollywood Bowl for Del Hinton Riot's Life and Springtime for David Robertson Feelers for Obi One Lamar SC for Dog Warren Charlie and Scepter for Oh no, Charlie for Carl Araganti, Scepter for Darren Howes, Mocha Liff, Seaview for Doug Warren, Electric Sheep for Kevin Meenahan, SSG for Martin Leadham along with the Chimford Scalfsa, and Oldham for Alex Cherry along with M&A Street, Fifth Sign Gold Dream for Dan Hughes, Mill Viking for Darren Howes, Much Mansell for James Follis, and Temperamental Lady makes up 21 for Pontypool Resin. Another big field here for a 0-90. They're in the gates. They're away. Our oh, ones refuse to race there, and it's Mill Viking. Obviously, the Viking horses do not like running every week. Bad luck, Darren. That's another one of yours. And as you can see, they've hit a bend here, and the ones that have gone really wide here are Riot's Life. Or maybe not. Maybe that's springtime that's managed to get over a little bit. But the Green Silks, why I do, is Electric Sheep. They had no luck. And Western Railroad and Much Mansell are happily bowling along in front, and they've already got eight lengths on those ones that have had to go wide. But it's Much Mansell as they come down to a mile left to run. It's Much Mansell from Western Railroad. Then there's four back to Lamaris Sea and Mokalif Seaview against the fence. Gold Dreams in there, and the Red Silks of the Yellow Sleeves. Then we've got Martin Stew and Doug in the pink. Then a further length back to Hollywood Bowl against the fences. M&A Street, the grey nearest to us here is Ann Oldham. Inside of him is Charlie. Then we've got Riot's Life going towards the fence. And Gate Sweet Electric Sheep is the one in the green closest to us. And they're about a length or head away from Temperamental Lady Scepter, SSG, the Chinkford Scouser and Feelers. But up front. It's Much Mansell, leading by about a length, a furlong and a half from Western Railroad. A furlong, I was right the first time, it was a length. So we're down to five, and it's Much Mansell and Western Railroad. Out wide is Springtime and Charlie. They're probably going to lose a couple of lengths again here, although Springtime's pushing through well. In the pink silks, here comes Martin Stew and Dunk, but he's top weight. He's got a lot to do. We get down to half a mile from home, and it's Much Mansell from Western Railroad. Springtime, Charlie and Lamaris C is still there and being pushed through. M&A Street looks very ominous and dangerous there, but up front it's still much Mansell. Here comes Charlie. Charlie just cruising up on the outside is Scepter, but Charlie's not even asked for anything from his horse. He does now and we get down to the final two and Charlie starts to motor. It's Charlie Hollywood Bowl on his inside. Moving well now on the outside is Gate Sweep, but Charlie might hang on to this. He's a furlong and a half from home and he's heading for home. It's Charlie from Hollywood Bowl on his inside. Here comes Hollywood Bowl to throw down the challenge, but Charlie fights back. We're inside the furlong, Charlie's still there. Gate Sweet on the outside, but it's Charlie. Charlie, Charlie, Charlie. And no, here comes Gate Sweet. Gate Sweet just moves into second gear. Class rises above everybody else. As you can see, Django and a 0 to 90. What was we expecting? So it goes to Django from Gate Sweet. Nipped in there very nicely. Second springtime for David Robertson. Unlucky coming out of gate 21. Third was Charlie for Carl Araganti. Thought you had that there, buddy boy. Fourth was Scepter for Darren Howes. And fifth was SSG for Martin Leadham. Hardly got a mention, but got into the prize money.